Hey everybody. How is everybody doing? I'm doing good. Um, I'm getting on here because I told you all that after I had my appointment Monday, I would come on and give y'all an update and I've got great news. First of all, my Cowboys lost last night, y'all. But it's okay because I'm still a super fan. And they didn't really beat us by much. You know, so anyway, we'll see them again on Christmas Eve. And we'll take back our the reign of our throne. <laughs> anyway, so at my doctor's appointment today, um, we did blood work. And it came back really good. And then we got up on that scale and... Y'all, because of stage four foods, I've been able to eat more than do liquids more than I was. I mean, I mean I've been able to eat more when in the past I was doing liquids more. My hair's looking crazy because it still looks like it did this morning when I went to the gym. But anyway, so now I can um, eat more foods, like I said, since last week. So I thought that I was not doing good because um, I don't feel like I've been eating a lot more. I just can finally actually eat stuff. And my stomach feels so full all the time with just small intakes of bite. You know, just two or three bites or something and I'm full. But it'd be like super full. So, for that reason, I wasn't sure about my uh, weight loss progress. But baby, when Melly Mel got up on the scale today, I lost another 13 pounds, y'all. So, since my surgery date... Uh, September 15th, um, I'm a month and two days post-op as of today. That is 34 pounds lost since my surgery date. But since my consult date um, that I started the uh, weight loss program to lead up to the surgery, that's a 40-pound loss. So, anyway, I'm doing really well. I'm really pleased with my results. And I'm... Um, just pressing on. I've been to the gym, been working out. If y'all are on my Facebook or anything, you see that my lovely husband, who is always so super supportive, goes to the gym with me. And for the most part, for now, I just do the treadmill. Like I learn and figure out how to operate them other pieces of equipment up in there. But I will. So, but I did um, 35 minutes on the treadmill, um, which for me, I thought that was pretty good because. Um, it was just good for me. So, you know, somebody else can probably walk up on there an hour or two hours or run and do these inclines and all that. And I'll get there one day, I guess. But if not, I'm okay with that too. But for me, baby, I got up on there and I've been walking 35 minutes, honey. And I'm happy with myself for that. So, but then once I figure out how to do this bicycle and this elliptical and these things that look like you skiing and um, just all kind of different stuff they have that I'm looking forward to getting to learn how to use, and I will. So, anyway, I just wanted to let you all know what my progress was because I know that I've got some people out there who are really, really rooting for me, and I really appreciate your support. And so I just wanted to share my uh, information for the day. Oh, I still am not able to tolerate my favorite things, y'all. I was a cheeseburger girl, a pasta girl, pizza, oh my gosh. And I do not like hamburger meat. I do not like bread. So I'm still doing good with fish, grilled chicken, vegetables, protein shakes. Um, I have some really awesome zero sugar drinks that my husband gets me. Some Minute Maid uh, mango punch and some fruit punch zero something and um lots and lots and lots and lots of water and then sugar-free jello sugar-free popsicles sugar-free chocolate pudding and once in a while i'll do some chicken noodle soup broth um but other than that i'm just eating them same old things for right now i can do some fruit i ate a banana one day um and then, you know, like those baked or air puff chips, um, air crisp chips or something. I'm not really sure what they're called, but I can eat some of those, like maybe a handful of those. So, but I am getting my protein in. 
I'm required to get protein in daily. I'm still taking my bariatric vitamin, which is a lifetime thing I have to do. And I'm still um, getting my liquid, my water in every day. And then I just, other than that, girlfriend and boyfriend, I just walk, walk, walk. And it's working. Excuse me, got the hiccups. So anyway, that is it for now. Um, stay tuned for Halloween, honey, because if you know my husband and I, we dress up every year for Halloween. Last year, he was Black Spider-Man, and I was, I don't know if I was like a spider woman or if I was like a big web, but the pictures are on our Facebook and on our Instagram from last year. Also, the year before, we did, um, he was Superman and I was Supergirl. That was super cute. And of course, this year, we already have our costumes ready and lined up, honey. We're just waiting for the day, so stay tuned so you can see what we are this year. I just bit my tongue. But um, we went down to Stickley Farm the other day. If you're in the Bristol area um, and you haven't been, go down there and check that out. They got the Hana House uh, up and going, the corn maze, and there's just a lot of stuff to do down there. It's right off of um, the next exit right as you pass the racetrack and then you go right and then make this quick left and out this dark road honey but it's nice out there so it's fall and festive and fun so if you get the chance go to stickley farm and enjoy yourself while you're there but anyway i won't take any more of your time because i'm getting ready to go in this living room and i think i'm gonna have some jello or maybe just some water, one or the other, I don't know. But uh, thank you again, and y'all have a good night. Love yous.